excuse me. Okay, where were we? If I didn't want to become an artist, I would like to tr maybe tr I travel the world a bit and become a history teacher. That would be cool. I would so. Mostly Western history, not American. Yeah, American history, I'm going to be honest, I love history. I do. I love it. Um, growing up, I loved mythology, history of the ancient world, all that. I found American history to be the most boring. Not because I'm not, like, proud of my country, blah, blah, blah. It's just a whole lot of the same BS. It just, it didn't, it, history doesn't, American history doesn't learn from itself. We think we do, but we don't. Because if we learn, a lot of the problems would not have happened over and over just to different groups. Whereas ancient history, when you saw a problem, within a couple of generations to at least to a couple hundred years, you saw a change, which is cool. Like, if you look at the ancient Greeks, a lot of their problems were fixed by the, the ancient Romans. Don't get me wrong, the ancient Romans were stupid, and I hate them because fucking Julius Caesar burned down Alexandria, and I'm like, fucking God, if I could time travel, I would seriously go back in time and beat the shit out of Caesar for it. But that's a completely different topic. I am completely not going to go into that. I just have a real seething hatred for Julius Caesar. Plus, he was a huge slave owner, and he just thought, yeah, just fuck Caesar. But no, American history I always thought was boring. I don't know why, I just did. I guess because we didn't have any cool, um, in my opinion, cool. Um, like, anything. We just we were just a shell of everyone else. We copy and pasted what we wanted without regard to what we were copying and pasting. I don't know. That's just me, though. Again, that's just my opinion. Give me going on agent history. I'm going to be content and love it. I love agent history. Spain, especially like the Greeks, the Romans, the Egyptians, all that stuff. They are a time period. Hence my own. Whoa! Thank you, gamer, for the bits. I want to ensure that I don't lose a bit boss before the end of the month. Also breaking 2.0. God damn it. Uh, thank you, gamer, for the bits. A Much appreciated. Oh, I need to switch weapons, duh. Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, as of right now, you are maintaining the bit boss for the act for the end of the year. Because I, I, I do not know if I'm streaming tomorrow before I go to my uh, my friends for um, New Year's Eve. I'm not 100 percent sure. Um, I hope I do, but if I don't, that would mean that. Um, yeah. Wait, inventory. I don't want that. I want the trip caster. No, I don't want that. I, I just realized I don't want that. No, I want the rope. I want the rope one. Yeah, I want the rope caster. That's what I want. Okay. I'm sitting here I'm like, what did I want? Yeah, I want the rope caster.
shines upon us this day. <sighs> that was close. Fun risking its ass down here. Yeah, the sun's not even fucking out. Give credit where the credit's due, you assholes. Oh, and now the sun. And now the sun comes out. Well, fuck the sun. It wasn't the sun who Girl, saved you guys. Approach. Yeah, I'm taking my time here. I'm doing shit. Anyway, I did I finish what I was saying? Does my health bar only go as high as 2k? Um, what is that now? Girl, come closer. I don't know actually. Hold on, I'll check. I actually never. I don't think anyone's actually gotten that high. Why did it freeze? I'm just gonna pause it. Just, we'll, we'll pause it. Excuse me. The stream boss. Settings. Is there a max health? Damage from... Oh, it's because... Okay. It's because damage from the bit, the current boss actually heals. So you just brought yourself back up to full health. That's all. You didn't kill the boss. You just healed yourself. Okay. I remember now. Because, yeah, you were saying how you wanted to be, uh, be able to heal yourself. That's all. I was just sitting there wondering, like... Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. But, yeah, it... You just healed yourself, that's all. Did I get everything? I think I got all of them. I think I got them all. Make me use my rope caster like that. You guys are assholes. You guys could have fought that off on your own. So, will you open the gate for me now? <laughs> you heard her! Open the gates and send word to Captain Balon. Where are you headed, girl? West to Meridian. Open the gates. The way of broken stones is a hard run, even in the best of times. You might want to have a word with Captain Balon. They are eyes from closed. Meridian not long ago. You find him in the fort on a balcony to the left, overlooking the valley. Okay. Okay. Thanks. We're like the ones who should be thanking you for taking down those machines. Walk in light, Nora. Thank you. I appreciate your armor. It has a very um, ancient Rome aesthetic. I like it. I almost walked off that cliff and looked like an idiot. All right, go talk to the dude. Hey, we got a tr we got a trophy. Look at that. Yes, you do heal yourself. Bum, 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 bum. So I need to save up for the concentration plus. Actually, mm, we'll go to our double shot first. Use R1. Oh, that's cool. Whoever's in charge here might know if Nakoa came through. Nakoa. Oops, that was not even remotely what I wanted to hit. Oh, I hit level 21. Sweet. Please wait. There we go. There we go. So we have another skill point. So we have three right now. I still have only two. Damn it. Three now. Damn it. The two was just already waiting. Nothing but trouble. That's all there is in Banu glands. What's that supposed to mean? Uh, poor thief. Okay. Hello there. Hello there. You sound kind of uh intrigued. Both are. I heard you talking about trouble in Banu glands. <sighs> Was that out loud? The ears must be getting worn down from all those long leg blasts. But you heard right. I'm fresh back from the cut, looking for better scavenging and better shards. I guess you didn't find them up there? <laughs> Not with the Banuk wailing about new machines and talking spirits and their purses frozen shut. What's a trade route without trade? It's just a route. 
So astute. Oh my god. What were these new machines and spirits? Honestly, I don't even know. Going by the number of Banuke funerals, I'd say the kind you turn away from. Not really my style. Well, if you reach my grand old age, you might prefer picking up after hunters in the Sundom. It's warmer, too. What is this place, the cut? When the Karja took up swords and hacked away at the edge of Banuke land, they left the cut behind. So a battleground from the war, like the valley outside the sacred land. Mm-hmm. Mountain pass in the far north and east will get you there. It's open to outlanders, hardy ones, like you. <laughs> Just don't expect much of a welcome, especially not now. Okay, what about the trade route? There's a trade route? I thought the Banuk kept to themselves. Uh, we Osiram and the Banuk are neighbors, after all. Uh -huh. What's a few mountain ranges between friends? <laughs> I have some acquaintances out there, still trying to dig a living out of the ice, but... They say nothing seems to stick. All the superstitious nonsense and rampaging machines aren't helping. New machines and talking spirits? I'm interested. <laughs> Thought as much, just looking at you. Don't say you weren't warned. There's a slip of a trail through the northeastern mountains, past what we call the Grave Horde. You won't miss it. Thanks. You'll find what passes for a town on the other side. Maybe someone there can talk you out of it. Maybe. Maybe not. Thanks for the information. Sweet. You won't do it all. Saves game. Did I save? <laughs> if Mike was here, it would be saves game. Did I save? Saves again. And I can't Repeat for about 30 out. times. Ooh, an artisan. Eesh. Fresh fish. You have one, I'm gonna buy them. Oh, hello. Captain Blon, I have questions for you. First, about another Nora woman who might have come through here. And second, about the trail to Meridian. What can I expect on the way? Well, it was definitely another Nora. No way I'd forget that. She caused an incident. An incident? As for what to expect on the trail, nothing good. More machines all the time. And our scouts report corruption that way as well. So much for sealing things off. Keep to the roads. They're safe enough. Okay. After what you did at the gate, I'll wager you don't scare easy. It's a good quality. I could put it to use, if you don't mind a quick jaunt back east. I know it's bold of me to ask a favor after you just did one, but I can offer you answers in return. If there's anything you need to know about the Sundom. I shall remember that. Ugh. First we're going to talk about a guy named Olin. Did an Osram named Olin come through here? Twice. He was part of the royal delegation to the Nora. When they passed through on the way, then back. And they brought back stories of a vicious attack on your people. My condolences, of course. Do you Thank know you. where Olin is now? Not exactly. But he was on his way to Meridian. I'm certain of that. Everyone goes to Meridian. All right. You said something happened with Nakoa. The Nora girl? Yes, yeah, something happened. Attempted murder. What? Prefect Zaid can tell you more about it. Okay. You can find him near the main tower, up the steps. Thank you. Wait. Zaid is here? He is. Uh -oh. Look, I've heard what your people say about him, but he swears it's a case of mistaken identity. If there's a shadow to him, I've never been able to prove it. And the forbearance he showed towards this Nicole woman was impressive. Oh, speak to him. Maybe he knows where she went. And try not to assault him, please. Um, okay. Where do things stand between your tribe and the Nora now? Sun King of Ard wants peace. Yes. So do the matriarchs, I'm told. But old wounds are slow to mend, and both tribes are proud. Damn right they are. My task is to make sure there are no further provocations from the Sundom. Especially now, after... Well... While your people recover from this terrible attack, I mean... That's very kind of you. What's Meridian like? It's a changed place. A living city. Nothing like it was during the rule of Sun King Juran. Havad, our new king, has done all he can to make sure of that. Slavery has been abolished. There's a new alliance with the Azaram. And the Sunring, where so many outlanders were killed, is now a memorial to the fallen. Huh. The sky sounds good. It sounds as though you approve of the new Sun King. He is the chosen of the sun. And what the Sundom needs after ten years of war. A calming light, not a scouring one. Sun King Juran would shed blood at any slight. For Sun King of Vod, 
That's a last resort. Lucky for those who slight him. <laughs> Some whisper in the shadows that he's weak. No. Peace is strength, as the sun shall show. Agreed. So the Karja are allied with the Osiram? Hard to believe, but it's true. Mad Sun King Jiran raided the Osiram for years. Abad managed to get them on his side. Damn. And he had help, of course. Urza and Eren played a part. Osiram's siblings, bigger than life. They gathered an army to free Meridian. I marched with them. Scaled the North Cliff with my men and secured the Temple of the Sun. Sent Jiran's kestrels and priests packing. Now Azaram are a common sight in the city. And a common sound, too. They sure bicker a lot. <laughs> what is this place, exactly? Day Tower marks the eastern edge of Karja territory. A trading post, a way station. One with an ugly reputation among your people. During oh. the reign of the last Sun King, many Nora were taken captive. Oh. Then gathered here for transport to Meridian. And sacrifice. But gotcha. the sun set on that. I was appointed by the Sun King of Vod to make sure old Karja at this outpost show respect to the Nora. I like this. I like this a lot. Oops. Back. No, I did that one already. Uh, favor. What do you need, Captain? I sent several patrols east when we got word of corrupted machines there. All of them confirmed my fears, so I sealed the gates. Yes. But it looks like we left some men behind when they were closed. Well, he... Tell me what happened. Machines attacked us near an abandoned Nora village. Sir. He's not looking at me. Lakir told us to pull back. Why is he not looking at me? Then I lost sight of the others. Never seen a Nora woman before, soldier? Have some respect. Report to her, not to me. Oh, okay, that was a glitch. Lakir always stresses reporting back, so that's what I did. I felt terrible about leaving them behind. Well, now that the gates are open again, I can send someone after them. Yeah, sure, I'll do it. I'll see what I can do about your missing men. I will be grateful, but not as grateful as Walid. <laughs> you hear that, lunkhead? You might be off the hook. 